Oh, hi. Today we're going to read the story of Room on the Broom. This is one of my favorite Halloween stories because it's a story about friends who work together to solve their problem. I'm not really a witch. It's just me, Miss Anna, but I'm wearing my green witch's cloak today. Room on the Broom. While I read this story, I want you to think about how are the friends working together to solve their problems. Let's also notice the rhyming words while we read. This is a rhyming story. Broom on the Broom by Julia Donaldson and Alex Scheffler. Broom on the Broom. Let's see what happens first. The witch had a cat and a hat that was black and long ginger hair and a braid down her back. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned when they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly, it blew off the hat. Down, cried the witch as they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat, but no hat could be found. Then, out of the bushes on thundering paws, there bounded a dog with the hat in his jaws. He dropped it politely, then eagerly said, as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her head, I am a dog as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? What do you think? Should the witch let the dog ride on her broom? Yeah. Yes, cried the witch and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the fields and the forest they flew. The dog wagged his tail and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed out loud and held on to her hat, but away blew the bow from her braid, just like that. Now what are they gonna do? Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then out from a tree with an ear-splitting shriek, there flapped a green bird with the bow in her beak. She dropped it politely and bent her head low, then said, as the witch tied her braid in the bow, I am a bird as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch. So the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Now we've got cat, a dog, a witch, and a bird. What's gonna happen next? Over the reeds and the rivers they flew. The bird shrieked with glee and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow, but let go of her wand. Her wand is what she uses to do magic. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. Then, all of a sudden, from out of a pond, leaping, leaped a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely, then said with a croak as the witch dried the wand on a float, fold of her cloak, I am a frog as clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? Yes, said the witch. So the frog bounded on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the moors and the mountains they flew. The frog jumped for joy and the broom snapped in two. Crack! Okay, I'm going to pause for a second, friends. I want you to think about what has happened so far in this story. First, the witch dropped her hat and she met a dog. Then what happened next? And who did she meet? And then what happened? And who did she meet? And now her broom broke in half. What's going to happen? Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down they went tumbling into a bog. 
the witch's half broomstick flew into a cloud and the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. Who is it? <gasps> I am a dragon as mean as can be and a witch with french fries tastes delicious to me. No, cried the witch flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Help, cried the witch, flying down to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon drew near with a glint in his eyes and said, just this once, I'll have witch without fries. But just as he planned to begin on his feast, see, he's getting ready to eat her. Oh, mom, mom, mom. From out of a ditch rose a horrible beast. What do you notice about that horrible beast? Who's in there? It's all muddy and squishy, but I think I see some friends working together to help their friend. It was tall, dark, and sticky, and feathered and furred. It had four frightful heads. It had wings like a bird. And its terrible voice when it started to speak was a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. It dripped and it squelched as it strode from the ditch. And it said to the dragon, buzz off, that's my witch. The dragon drew back and he started to shake. I'm sorry, he spluttered, I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and was off through the sky. Hmm, how did those friends work together to save their friend the witch? Then down flew the bird and down jumped the frog. Down climbed the cat and phew, said the dog. And thank you, oh, thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, I'd be on that dragon's inside. Then she filled up her cauldron, that's her big pot, and said with a grin, find something, everyone, throw something in. So the frog found a lily, the cat found a cone, the bird found a twig, and the dog found a bone. They threw them all in and the witch stirred them well. And while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. Eagity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom. Then out rose. Think about what's gonna come next. What word rhymes with zoom? A truly magnificent broom with seats for the witch and the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird, a pool for the frog. Yes, cried the witch and they all clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Look at that beautiful broomstick. There's the frog, there's the witch and the dog and the cat and the bird. The end. All right, friends, let's think about that story with the room with room on the broom. So many things happen in that story. What happened first? What happened next? What happened next? What happened next? What do you think were the most important parts of that story? On Seesaw, I want you to tell me what happened first, next, and last. See you soon.